Okay, so this is going to be the first part of my Keezer build. Uh, I've seen a bunch of them on YouTube already. Uh, I thought I would just kind of do my own video off of uh, seeing what everybody else has done and kind of just put my own twists on it because uh, I've learned a lot of stuff from everybody else's videos. So what this is, is it's a Frigidaire 12.9 cubic foot chest freezer that is i'll give you the i'll get the dimensions later but uh it, what's nice about this is it's more of a square and kind of a large basin inside than a really long skinny one so let me uh open up the top here so you can see inside so let's see it's got two bins in it which i'm going to get rid of those so we'll just take those out now Those are going to be gone. I may use them later for something, but you can see in the bottom it's a nice square area. And when I measured it, I'll be able to put three kegs one right there, one right there, one right there, and then I can do one, two, and three. So I can fit six of them in there, no problem. Still have room for the CO2 tank and uh, some other beers and stuff. So this is the first part of it. It's white and everywhere i looked around i couldn't find the size that i wanted that was in black so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this chest freezer here i'm going to tape everything off that i don't want painted and uh, we're going to paint this baby black and make it gloss black and then we'll build the collar on it and make it a six tap setup so here's the first part of this and i'm gonna start taping and i'll show you what areas i taped off and then show you how I'm going to take the lid and all that off here in a little bit. Okay, so I got the top part taped off. Just ran painter's tape all the way around the inside. And put newspaper so the whole inside's protected. I'm going to take the lid off here in a minute. But uh, I had this little floor heater that I got going. What I was using it for is on the back here you can see where the stickers are. And... I already removed the ones over by the hinges, but uh, I want to save this one. This is the one that's the wiring diagram and all that. So with that heater, it warmed up the sticker enough that I can just peel it off um, single-handedly. And then what I'll do is I'll take this off, and then I'm going to stick it to this sheet of paper, and that way I can save... The diagram so I'll get that taken off and I'll stick it to that and then I'll I'll show you some through some way through the video what it looks like okay so nice and clean now easy to paint I'm gonna be taking the hinges and the lid and all that off but here's that sticker now on a piece of paper and now I can just file it with all the other warranty stuff and all that good stuff here so I'll put it with the owner's manual um, I'm gonna lift the freezer up off the floor now so that I can get kind of towards the bottom and and get all that stuff prepared. Um, there's one more sticker on the side here that I'm going to end up taking off and then I'm going to take the lid off so let's uh, start unhooking the lid. Okay so far so good, lid's off. It's laying on the side over there. I'll show you. Uh, I took the hinges off there, there and down here is where the control is i got it all taped up and then the motor and everything or the whatever you want to call it's behind it so i don't want paint spraying through all these fins right here so i'm taking a piece of paper newspaper and laid it in there and then i'll reattach this back so that it won't let anything aerosol wise fly up in there so Pin or uh, hinge wise, the easiest thing I found is to stick a screwdriver in the hole and then they'll come off this way rather than having to worry about the tension and all that on them. So I'll cover the handle with some tape and uh, I'm going to paint this hinge just the way that it is rather than it being um, extended out. So. That's what we got so far. Next thing I'm going to do is, you can see I got some tape around it. Um, I'm going to cover the rest of the back of that seal with tape. Um, I know some people remove the whole seal and that inner plastic part, but mine has like riveted 
plastic things on it and it's really nice and tight so I don't want to mess with it um, so if I end up switching to a black seal then that's fine but for right now I'm just going to tape it and make sure everything's sealed off so here's the lid off this is the back side of it I got the tape on the cord there you can see how I have the seal done with blue tape and it's tucked underneath it and then I put masking tape and paper to protect it so that whole thing is covered up there's the front and that's set there so all the stickers are off of it the one that was there that sticker's gone I let this hang out just a little bit so there's not a hidden um, so the lip is, ex is exposed and I can paint it so we're ready there now all I need to do is According to the bottle here, I'll show you which, which paint I'm going to use. Uh, I got it down here. I just picked this up from Lowe's. It's just appliance epoxy. Epoxy and I'm doing the gloss black. And on the back, it the instruction wise just told you to rough up the surface with some uh, really fine sandpaper. So I'm just going to rough up the surface. And there you can see where I got it elevated also up off the ground with the two by fours so I can get all the way around it now and I'm gonna rough it up and I'm gonna start painting here so when we come back you'll see some black paint hopefully okay here's the first coat on it I did it fairly mild just because I don't want to have drips or streaks in it so there's one down and then this took one can of paint right there. The back's a little bit, has a little bit of about a coat and a half on it. I just did just a little bit extra on that side. So it's going to take at least two, maybe three cans of the black. But uh, so far, it's going on pretty easy and it's sticking okay. Okay, here's the new chest freezer all painted up black. Looks good, there's the top. I'll peel the paper out of it and uh, just gotta let it dry for a couple days and she'll be set. And that'll be the new addition to the bar. And the uh, next step is getting the collar done and getting the Perlex faucets on it. So very cool stuff.